hi everybody welcome back to another video hope you're doing really well um this is a vlog it is a mini travel vlog um we are off to france we are off to france for one night um because i am going it's a work trip um i'm going over to create some content for instagram um so i thought i would vlog our little trip take you along with us um we are boarding the ferry at eight o'clock um this morning it is now as you would have seen quarter to two um my eyes are just about staying open i i'm not too bad now actually i hit a wall about i hit a wall about midnight but um i'm i'm not too bad Obviously Atticus is asleep. I'm going to wake him up soon because we need to leave here. We need to leave here about three because obviously I am going to drive down to Dover. Um, and it's about a two and a half hour journey. That's without stopping. Um, and obviously you've got to get early. Um, you've got to get there early to check in and everything. So that is, <laughs> that is the plan. Um, it's going to be quite full on. Um, but it is a work trip with some free time thrown in also um so we're going to dunkirk um a lot of history in dunkirk which i didn't realize um so i think there's some museums there um we can look around and um yeah just have a nice time and spending mother's day in france because mother's day is on sunday obviously today is saturday the 18th so um tomorrow this is really weird saying it because it's like Saturday, it's like the middle of, it's really weird. <laughs> I've lost track of time. But tomorrow is Mother's Day, um, the 19th, so I'll be waking up in France on Mother's Day, which will be nice. So I thought I'd take you along with us. Um, so yeah, let's go to France. arrived in Dover that was a long drive that was about three and a half hours three and a half hour drive on no sleep I don't know ferry um sails at eight and it is now ten to seven so we're early but better better early than late because this is like a first time for me um on the ferry I've only been on a ferry once or twice and that was when I was a lot younger and it was like on a coach trip so this is my first time but we've checked in passports done all of that so we're just uh, waiting for us to we're in our lane and waiting to um, board the ferry how nice was that um, sunrise on the way Atticus got it on camera didn't you yeah as well also the prep that is needed if you're going to drive in France what you have to have to be legal in your boot you have to have went to the car shop the other day bought it all you have to have a red triangle a big red triangle in case you break down to have a high-vis jacket you have to have breathalysers you have to take your own breathalysers in case the French police stop you um, so you have to have a box of two you have to take your bowl bits for your lights on your car obviously and then you have to take some um, sticker bits to go over your um, headlamps it's a whole thing driving in France um, we've got the UK stickers on the car because it can't be um, GB now, it has to be UK. So if you are driving to France, um, be prepared. And if you haven't got that stuff in your boot, you can get fined €180. Euros. All the stuff that I bought in um, for the boot was £40, £42, pounds, I think. So cheaper than getting fined. And then once you've got it, you've got it, haven't you? Is that? So we have come to try the French McDonald's. Look at the bakery section. Slightly different. Slightly different to um, England. Look at 
these pancakes. French McDonald's pancakes. Do you want to try the coffee? Yeah, I will do. I'll have a cake and a coffee afterwards. Okay, so we have got, Atticus has got his classic chicken nugget and chips, but look how it comes. It actually comes in like a, a plastic holder and the same, no, that's not plastic. Yeah, that's plastic too. Then I've got the most, the most miniature meal. I'm not sure what, I must have ordered off the miniature menu or something. I've got a cock, they call it a cock McDo. A crock mcdough sorry and i think it's a toasted ham and cheese sandwich but it is rather small i might have to get another one then i've got these they're sweet potatoes sweet potato fries and ordinary fries so good but a very small portion Being awake for i think probably i don't know two days or something it just seems time is just whoa I've definitely been awake for a day and a half. Yeah, about a day and a half. Well, we've finally arrived at the hotel. Hotel room is lovely, view is lovely. I'll turn you around and show you. We are gonna have an hour's chill, maybe a little power nap, and then we are gonna go out for some dinner. So you come in first, you've got a little kitchen area here, you've got a microwave up there, you've got your kitchen bits, you've got a fridge down there with water and whatnot in it, all the tea bags and coffee and everything in there. I've just made a cup of tea. We've got a desk here. This was really cute what they gave Atticus. Um, look, the Rad family, like for Radisson Blue, and he's got a little passport in here, haven't you, that they'll stamp every time you visit a Radisson Blue hotel because they're all over the world, aren't Shall they? We go in there? No, that room, obviously, we don't go in because that's next door's room. Let me come over here. There's Atticus, who's doing so well. I don't know how he's kept going. We've got some macaroons there. They We've got some the lemonade. They love their macaroons. Nice bed there. Then here we've got a nice shower, looks lovely. Nice big shower, that looks really nice. It's me. <laughs> um, let me come over here, we've got a telly, wardrobe, and then, bathroom's lovely. And then, yeah, I didn't show the toilet at the beginning. There's a toilet, obviously. And then we come out here, look, and we've got this lovely view of the beach which is really nice very very quiet i mean it's raining it it's raining now actually as you can see it's raining on and off um but we're going to go one of the museums there's a few museums here but one of them we're going to go to tomorrow morning is up there that you would have just seen honestly i could have at five <laughs> it was amazing we just come out like in the center having a little look around the rain has finally stopped this restaurant over here it's on one of the hotel's top 10 restaurant this bit shirt um they don't really start eating dinner here till pretty late but because we're so tired we've come out early um because we need to sleep <laughs> What do you think, Atticus? Tired? I'm so tired. So tired. Come on. morning from Dunkirk a very rainy cold morning um, we have caught up on our sleep which is great we were asleep for like eight o'clock last night weren't we Atticus Definitely. Um, and didn't wake up till about six so we have well and truly caught up on our sleep I feel so much better I feel like a different person um, so we are gonna go down for breakfast obviously we sail home today our um, 
at two o'clock so we haven't got like loads of time really it's about it's half past eight now it's currently raining it's really really raining and cold and, it's gonna and stop. windy it's gonna, the rain's gonna stop at about 10. we are gonna go down for some breakfast we're hungry aren't we Atticus? yeah let's go get breakfast Breakfast was so so good. I had so many crepes and Nutella. Like That's been my six, thing since I've been here. Had about six. I had about six this morning, then I had that big one last night. So we have come out before we drive to the port, which is like on the other side of Dunkirk. Um, we've come for a little walk, get some fresh air, no more rain. So we've got about half an hour, 45 minutes until we have to drive to the port. Um, but we're going to have a little walk. The air is lovely. Isn't it, Atticus? Yeah. Really nice. We found this memorial. Now, let me know. Um, because when I knew I was coming to Dunkirk, I didn't know the history that surrounded Dunkirk. I didn't know. I'd never seen the film. There's a film, isn't there, called Dunkirk? I didn't know. And there's this memorial. Um, it's the 40th anniversary um, to do with the war. Um, and I'm not sure whether this beach behind me is the beach where... Um, all the soldiers went on or something it was something about a beach somebody told me um so i don't know if this is the beach behind me but the memorial is here anyway so here's the memorial 40th anniversary um i'll be honest if i hadn't have come here for work it's not somewhere I would actually think, oh, I'll go there. Um, so it's really opened my eyes to like, it, yeah, it's lovely. I think this is part of the old shipyard that says on here. Look, there's loads of museums in Dunkirk. There's loads. like an art gallery just below where the old shipyard shipyard was I think this is like look at this stall look at this stall Atticus basically it's an old shipyard that's been like um, designed into like you've got an art gallery you've got um all sorts in here and then these are the people put it on the front these are the architects um, that designed the, the new building so this is it interesting and down into the the old shipyard look so it's basically a really, such an old building They've converted it, designed it, redesigned the whole building. Really cool, look how this moves across the whole building. It just randomly moves, but it's how they've designed it. Really good. And I found actually this, what explains what basically the whole building is. Okay, it's known as the cathedral. It was erected in 1949 um, for a shipyard. And it was one of Dunkirk's economic and industrial pillars the building measures 75 meters in length by 25 meters in height and symbolizes the rebirth of the shipyards after the second world war it's one of the rare remnants of a workplace that employed as many as 3,000 people in the 60s keeping the memory of the site alive so that is what this building is it's very cool that was different interesting um didn't really have that long um, because obviously we've got to get to the port but that was really interesting that was really interesting. really interesting wasn't it yeah 
you can see the whole building as I'm walking along here you can see it behind me so now we are going to um, we've already put all the cases and that in the car well, I only have one little case and a, a bag but we, um, I'll put them in the car we're gonna go and hand the keys in to check out and we are going to drive to um, the port It's our ferry home. The van is just opening like the door. Yep. We're in the car, Mommy 8282. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the M25, it turns into the, the A282 when you go over the Dartford tunnels and cross him. So you've got the Dartford uh, bridge, Dartford crossing bridge, and you've got the East Tunnel, the West Tunnel. I can help him find great people fast. I need indeed. Indeed you do. 